the Lord. We pray that you would attune your ears and your heart to hear God speak to you today. We have come into this house to give him praise and honor, to magnify his name, to call upon that name that is above every name, so that God's name may be glorified. Come with me this evening to the word of God recorded in the book of Genesis, the 37th chapter. I'd like to lift up our we here today, verse 18 through 19. Amen. Genesis chapter 37, verses 18 through 20. And it reads, Now when they saw him afar off, even before he came near them, they conspired against him to kill him. Then they said to one another, Look, this dreamer is coming. Come therefore, let us now kill him and cast him into some pit. And we will say, that some wild beasts have destroyed him. We shall see what will become of his dream. This is the word of the Lord. I'd like to talk with you today on the subject, putting God into your dreams. Amen. Putting God into your dreams. Tomorrow we will celebrate the 95th birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Mm -hmm. Many of us, no doubt, when we think of Dr. Martin Luther King, we think of, I had a dream. We will ask anybody, what do you know about Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr.? Mm -hmm. Most of them would res respond, uh, the sermon that he preached in Washington, I Have a Dream. Note that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream, but that dream corresponded with God's dream. If you remember his dream, he dreamed that there would be peace and harmony among all people. He dreamed of a dream that one day that his children will be able to sit down with white children and communicate together. He dreamed that one day when hatred will be no more, when love will conquer hatred in this world. As we look at the dream of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., we realize that that is the same dream that our God has for each and every one of us. Amen. He dreamed of peace peace in this world. Therefore, he sent his son, Jesus Christ, who is known as the Prince of Peace, to bring peace to us mm -hmm. so that we can declare that we have that peace that surpasses all men's understanding. Amen. Yes, that is a dream of God. And God have a dream for each and every one of you. A God give a dream Amen. that he gives us. A dream that we can know and bring about peace and harmony Amen. among ourselves, among one another. That is a dream that God has for each and every one of us. Amen. And it starts out with us. It begins with us. As we know the dream that Martin Luther had, <coughs> as he came into this world, he had dreams of bringing not only just black people to have justice and peace, but all mankind. And this is also the dream of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As we move into a new year, many of us, no doubt, have made some resolution, some aspiration of moving forward, of doing great things, or accomplishing something that no doubt we haven't before. And we pray that it is a God-given dream. A goal, a hope that you will have 
that were progress not only for you, but for all mankind. This is today as we think about the dream of Joseph. If we look at the dream of Joseph, it was indeed a dream not just that he would become king of Egypt, not that he in turn would have his brothers bow down to him, but his dream was for all mankind to save his people. Notice what he said later on. You meant it for evil, but God turned it around for good, and that I may save the nation as his people came to him to be saved. Yes, save that life through the food that was provided. But God give us dreams which can be accomplished. All of us have some dreams. There are those who dream, no doubt, of winning the lottery. There are those who dream of being rich. There are those who dream of being famous. Uh, some great things may happen. We all have dreams. But we pray that in all of our dreams, that we will put God in it. And when we put God in it, then we'll see that that dream will bring about peace and harmony, not for you only, but for all mankind. What are your dreams today? As we think of dreams, as we think of purpose in life, God has a purpose for you. Just as he called Samuel in our text today. We find him calling Samuel to save his people and to share the word of God, to be a judge of his people. So God is calling each and every one of you. We sing the song, somebody is knocking, knocking at your door. We can say that God is calling. He is calling your heart to open to see how you can make a difference and bring about peace wherever you are. Maybe it may start with peace in your home, Amen. peace with your family members, peace and harmony in your church, wherever God is seeking you to be a living testimony for him. As he is calling us, God give us dreams, aspirations, that can be reached, not just some dream or pipe dream, something that we know that will never happen, but God wants to speak to you, and he speaks to us individually. He moves and motivates us individually to accomplish great things in life. And God wanted his word to be spread throughout and read by all men. God gave Lutheran the ability of dream for the printing press. Yes, but God wanted people to move about from the buggy, from different places. God gave a dream or an aspiration to fold and some of the others to prevent transportation. When he wanted man to be able to fly in the sky, he gave a dream and aspiration to the right brothers in order to make a difference in our lives in order to make a difference for all mankind. So then, he has a dream for you. Amen. What is your dream? No doubt you would say, well, there's not much that I can do. But look at one individual. The difference that it made with one individual as he gave a dream for Dr. Martin Luther King to proclaim justice and peace for all mankind. And it traveled throughout the world. A little man from Atlanta, Georgia, he gave a dream. And yet we are still today, that dream still lingers on. Yet we have not accomplished it. No, there is not peace and harmony and justice all over this land as he dreamed. But we are moving forward towards that. We are farther than when we first started. And yes, every individual, you and I, can make a difference to father, to carry that dream out, that dream of God. Amen. Yes, that's the dream that God has for us. What are your dreams? Well, we say, well, I cannot make a difference. But you can start out by sharing the word of God with some individual that will make a difference in that person's life. 
You can start out pro individual by being a person of peace and harmony so that peace will spread throughout your family, throughout your life. Yes, it starts with us. Yes, and we must pray that God will sustain our dream. That God will bring our dream to reality. We have to look today and say, as we look at our church, what is the dream of our church? We have been at a standstill for a long time. Can our church grow? Is this the ability and the dream that God has for all of us? Yes, he makes it clear to us. As he gave out that great commission, go and make disciples of all nations, starting at home in Jerusalem and moving out abroad. Yes, that is the dream that God has for us. How are you coming with that dream? He has given you his Holy Spirit. He has called you just as he called Samuel. And he is calling you. Will you answer like Samuel? Will you answer like the prophet Isaiah? Lord, here am I. Send me, send me. Will you answer the call that God is putting out for you? He is calling. Yes, we say somebody is knocking. It sounds like Jesus calling you. Calling you to get up from where you are as you move into a new year and make a difference in your life. Make a difference in the church. Yes, he is calling you. Can I make a difference? And yes, we make that difference by being in God's Word. Grounded and rooted in the Word of God. That brings about, that sustains us to carry out our dream. Now, in every dream, there will be some difficult. In every dream, there will be some disappointment. In every dream, there will be some stumbling block. Because you see, you are pressing beyond. You are challenging people to move. You are doing something that's different in your dream. That people like to stay in the status quo. Yes, that will be difficult. As we see in the life of Joseph, yet even with this dream, a God-given dream, that was difficult. We hear even in his family, with the starting with his brothers, come, let us destroy this dreamer, and we will see what will happen to his dream. Notice when we have a God-given dream, no matter what, we, no one will be able to stop that dream. If it's a God-given dream, right. and we have the ability to know that God is with us, yes, no matter what obstacles may be in our way, God is able to see our dream through. Yes, we need to press forward, knowing that our source of dreams come from God. Look at the difficult with Joseph. No doubt, perhaps he felt that his dream was dead when his brother threw him off in the pit and left him back to die. But know how God worked the power of this dream to bring it to fruition. The same God is able to work in your life. You can be a Joseph. You can be a Martin Luther. You can be one who makes a difference through the power of the Almighty God. Yes, look at the stumbling blocks in Joseph's life. We find again, even as he was lied on, falsely accused, thrown in prison, and yet he did not give up his dream. God brought it through creation. Well, we look at Dr. Martin Luther King, the same Heartaches, disappointment, stumbling block, those who do not believe, those who try to kill the dream. Yes, even kill the dreamer, but yet the dream go on. Today we are still talking and moving forward to progress. We are still carrying out the dream of God and that of Martin Luther King Jr. Yes, who will be the next? Martin Luther King. Note too that sometimes we may not see our dream come to reality. Sometimes we may plant the seed and start it 
and somebody else pick it up and carry it on. Yes, as we look at the church and the pastors that have been here, those pastors that dream of a, a church and yet and he went on and someone else picked it up and someone would pick it up after me. And I pray that we will carry it on to proclaim God's word and make it a reality. Yes, some may say, well, there's nothing much I can do. But when we have God in the midst, when God is in our dream, then it will also be like that of Martin Luther. Yes, Martin Luther King Jr. It will be like that that the dream will go on and on and on. This is a reality that God has for all of us. Mm -hmm. Yes, look at the call to make Daniel. God called him. And though he has called him, now he answered the call. He called him and make Daniel said, what good can come out of Nazareth? But yet he again, when he met the blessed Savior, when he put Jesus in his dream, Note what Jesus said to him. You will see even greater things happen. You will see greater things happen. My brothers and sisters, when we put God in our dream, we will see great things happen here at Bethel Lutheran Church. When we stand up and know that God gives us the power to move and to do, to change the lives and hearts of people, we will see great things happen. I challenge you today, put God in your dreams. Put Him in your dreams, not just dreaming of richness and all for yourself, but for those around you. That is what God called for us to do. Mm -hmm. We challenge you to dream on. Dream on. God works through people, and He will sustain us so that our dream will become a reality. It is God who plant great dreams in the hearts of people, and it's God who sustain them so that they will become a reality. I pray today as we hear God's word that we too will answer like Samuel, Lord, speak for your servant is listening. Mm -hmm. Lord, speak to my heart for I'm ready to move. Lord, speak, for I am listening. May we also answer like Nathaniel. Lord, hear am I. May we answer like the prophet Isaiah. Lord, hear am I. Send me, send me. Mm -hmm. And God will send you. Not only that, but God has promised to go with us. He has promised to be with us until the very end. May he bless us today that we dream big, dream what can happen here at Bethel. What God has a plan for us here at Bethel. What things that you can do in telling others about the joy, the love that God has shown you, it will make a difference. Yes. yes, it will make a difference. Only if we will say, speak, Lord, while my servant is listening. Only if we would answer the call, Lord, here am I. The commission that he has given all of us and all of our dreams is that we, one day, will come together in peace and harmony, that we, one day, will be one nation serving him. This is the plan and the dream that God has for all of his people. Hallelujah. And one day, he will come again. Hallelujah. He will come. And I pray that we would be waiting, seeking, waiting for him. Lord, bless us to that end, we pray. Amen and amen. Now may the peace of God that passes all men understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.